What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Legit. Hey, man, we got the Lakers versus the Clips. Hey, we welcome I did see on Twitter, no LeBron. LeBron ain't hooping, so we don't have to do it without him, man. AD got to step up. Hey, R got to step up. Reeves, uh, D Lo got to step up. Rui, ETP, D Lo. Get it, man. Rui with the offensive board, kick out. D Lo. Good shot, boy. T-Man, good shot. AD Mitty. Why is he screaming, bro? Wide open dunk. AR, TP, Rui. That's good ball movement, baby. Eddie gambling. To man up ahead. Man taking on Prince with the reverse. Lovely guarding Davis. They cleared out. Man comes to help. Way to shoot before the double can. Knocks down a mid-range jump. Great job, Eddie. This time, Achimura came from Washington to the Lakers. Harden. As Harden buries a three. Austin Reeves goes to the basket, lays it in. Players are in the fire. They're in it, and you were in it. And but it's all relative. He didn't even have to take a dribble, dog. Put that chip on your yep. shoulder. Go for it. Paul George with the left hand. Okay, PG. And a little contact from AD. The defense. From PG able to turn the corner. AD Cherry picking. We'll take those. Easiest basket. Oh! They got to clean the floor, man. lays it in. Plumley kicks it. Harden's open in the corner. Harden. Yeah, that all five subs on the floor. Are we seeing a potential Western Conference Finals matchup? A pretty impressive. Yeah, I think the Clippers can make it that far, man. But you know the Nuggets going to bring it. You know the Suns going to bring it. You know the Timberwolves yeah, going to bring it. Uh, who else I'm missing? Them Thunder, they nice too now. Vando. High percentage shot. Great matchups. Kawhi? Oh my Kawhi goodness, Leonard dog. With the jump hook. <laughs> Yo. Had his shoe pop off. What the? Look at the kick it off. It's shoeless Russell Westbrook. Go ahead, Russ. Put in shoes. <laughs> yep, that was one of those magnet balls. What shoes are those? And he's going to play defense now. Westbrook drives his foul. Oh no, Reddish. You can't take that, baby. Come on, Cam. Cam. Now. Westbrook drives his oh, he yelled in your face. Crosses. Come on, Cam. Come on, Cam. You can't, bro. What's up with everybody falling? Clean the floors. We seen OKC Russ. Oh my goodness, he really got up. D Lo Mitty, good shot. Powell hits the jumper, and he's got a smooth stroke. Here's James Harden, and another three is down. Clippers switch it here. Now Harden on Russell goes to his right, lays it in with his left. He's a left-handed player. Oh, the defense. Let's go. Achimura got a piece of that. Go see what. D-Lo, Rui. Hey! throws it down. Set up beautifully by Russell. Okay, D-Lo. Bro, I'm seeing Braun on the bench. Why he not clapping and stuff after he make the shots? You know how they be doing the celebrations? Look at Braun after he made that. Russell steps back. He just sat there like nothing happened, bro. He's not surprised. Oh, good cut. Good cut. Takes up his own medicine with the... Harden just being lazy on defense. Yep, that's your fault, Harden. See what? What are you doing? Deflection on the pass ends up as a steal. Man, there's a little step. Come on, see what? Rui. Rui. Where's the foul, ref? Where's the foul? We're talking about, you know, tomorrow that Suns Mavericks game on ABC. And one. Tice is fouled on his way in. And so now the Bucks Dang, he elbowed him in, in the neck. Mike Budenholzer, yeah. terrific coach who was a surprising move. They let him PG. go. Adrian Griffith and now whoever. Hey, that's too damn easy though, bro. Come on, Vando. Throws it down with two hands. To see how good they really are. But I'll tell you, this team has the Clippers now that found the rhythm. Hard with a three on two. Oh, what the? Step he troubled. Now that found the rhythm. Picked it up. One, two, three. Come on, dog. Come on, ref. Wake up, man. Hey, D. 
Up ahead, Reeves. Throw it up. His head up. He finds good Davis. pass. That's a good bet. Davis lays it in. Now Harden, shot clock at one. Harden, cash. This nigga Harden, man. Late clock. Here's Kawhi oh. Leonard. Oh, wow. Man. Strong, smooth, skilled. Speaking of which, Kawhi in space able to operate. He can't be broken down one on one. Nice finish. A little runner in the lane. Oh! You PG struggle to get up nowadays, but he still got it in him. There you go, AD. Way to be aggressive, boy. He's been plumbly on you, man. That's barbecue. Harden with four to shoot. Got it. Mid range jump. Look at Russ on the bench. TP. And one. What I'm talking about, TP? Why is Reeves on? Bro, switch that matchup, bro. If Van, I don't only want Vando, TP, or Rui. Or Braun guarding Kawhi. Nobody else, bro. Wow, that was a tough finish. Rui. That's a tough shot. Why kick out, swing, PG. Davis to the basket. Oh, tough basket. I'm talking about AD. Oh no. George shakes Reeves. Oh no, Reeves. The pass. Come on, TP. Let's go. Reeves shot fake. Oh, good move. Rui. <laughs> TP was clapping for the ball. I seen that. D-Lo, hey. D-Lo, you stand, man. D-Lo, you stand, my boy. You stand. Oh, D-Lo, you stand. We ain't, we ain't sending you nowhere, boy. Reeves is on Kawhi again. Why? Why? Oh, get Reeves off of Kawhi. Make up for it. Come on, Reeves. Good shot. Four point game. Come on, let's get a stop. And you got Reeves on Kawhi again. Look at Reeves, man. Like he's genuinely upset. He can't do nothing about it. It's not that he doesn't have heart or will or dedication. His physical attributes can't do not require him to to stop Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi's what six eight, way more muscular. Like Reeves just doesn't have. Reeves needs to be on. There's really nobody he can guard on his floor. Maybe Terrence Mann. Wait, hold on. Where's Reeves? Leonard. They take him off the floor. Always. One, two, three, four. Where's our fifth? Has that sense. Good oh, move. Quickness for a man that size. Reeves needs to guard. Here's Westbrook, three oh, now Russ can shoot all of a sudden. I guess Norman Powell, bro, but he can, he's a bucket, too. That's not a goal 10. That's clean. Denies it, but a goal 10. Now the Lakers down eight. Oh, my goodness. Shifty. AD, clean up. Clean up. Letter misses Tice offensive board. Here's Westbrook. Oh, oh where can this dude shoot like this? Come on, Cam. It's shot, boy. Second and a half, separating the shot. They're doubling Kawhi. There we go. That's what I like to see. Coffee. Coffee three pointer is good. Magnet ball. Vando got fouled. No call. Get it back. Come on, TP. Boom. Six point game. That's that's clean. That's clean. That's clean. Why did they cut it out? Ends up on him. George goes to work with the big man on him. George gets inside uh. and lays it in. Wood drives it. It's four on five. Lakers and Wood scores anyway. They got to get a timeout here. Good move, D-Lo. Two point game. Get a stop. We need to get a stop. They're just attacking D-Lo, dog. You say you want to be like Derek White, and then you let him blow by you like this. What is that? What is that? Movie shuffle your feet, D-Lo. Oh my goodness. James Harden. Oh! oh. D-Lo. I don't think I ever seen D-Lo get a block like... Okay, TP. I don't think... I mean, D-Lo be getting like them in strip blocks. I never seen him get a chase down. Norman? Oh. Get it, get it, get it. Go, 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 go. No! D-Lo! Uh-oh. Y'all seen Brian got out of the seat? I ain't gonna lie. This was a stupid pass by D-Lo. George, another Look at how Kawhi was waiting for him to throw that stupid shit. You got to keep that for yourself right there, D-Lo, and wait to see how the play ends out. He was panicking. He rushed, bro. 
charge there for LeBron's like, where's the charge? On Reeves. They keep attacking Watch Reeves, man. Behind. It's just sad. And able to I love Reeves, but he's a liability Reeves defensively, man. I'm sorry. Like, they keep the attacking him. Gives it up. Here's Coffee now for three. Got it. A bum he's hitting the lucky, lucky shot, man. Down AD, getting George doubled. George Kicks to Vando. Vanderbilt. What a pass. 240 remaining in regulation. Leonard shakes everybody. He lost all of the Lakers. Scores again. Kawhi hoping. For 25 Kawhi points. Leonard will exit. It's over? Yep, the bums are in. What? With his second career triple double. Kawhi had a triple dub? And that's only his second in, in how long he's been in the league? That shows how much he don't care about stats, bro. He just want to win. I fuck with that, Kawhi. Norman Powell, man, wow. Norman Powell winning sixth man of the year. What y'all think, man? Look at him. He shows no emotion, man. He just happy to win. Dang, bro. I mean, I can't even be mad. We had no LeBron. We had no LeBron. I don't really care, bro. We had no LeBron. We'll see them in the playoffs, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna win. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not a Lakers fan. I'm just a LeBron fan. And if LeBron does somehow not get a ring this year, I want the Heat to win it all. You know what I'm saying? And it's simple as that. I'm happy we got Terry Rozier too. I know y'all seen that, man. We got Terry Rozier. Hopefully, he's a great addition to that squad. But uh, AD had 26 and 12. Um, Torian Prince, you had 11. Two steals, two blocks, three rebounds. Rui with 11, three rebounds, two assists, one steal and a block. D'Lo with 27 and 10. Double double for D'Lo with five boards. I see, boy, what you did have five turnovers, D'Lo. Come on, we got to step it up, bro. Stop throwing stupid passes. D'Lo shot nine for 21, four for 10 from three. Pretty solid. AR, you had 12 points. Two for eight from three, five for 14 from the field. Two steals and a block. Three turnovers. Come on, bro. Come on, AR. Um, Vando with 12 and 9 off the bench, three steals and a block, almost a double double. I see you, Vando. Uh, Seawood with 6 and 7 with three assists off the bench. Maxwell Lewis with two. Reddish off the bench with nine, three blocks and a steal. Great defense, man. And then Christy, you ain't do nothing. Uh, Paul George, you had 17, 8 for 12, 1 for 2 from 3. Pretty efficient game for PG. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, you had 25, 10, and 11. 25, 11, and 10. Second ever career triple double that dude said, and 11 for 16, very efficient at the midi. Kawhi was hoping, man, you gotta give him the respect. You know what I'm saying? Mason Plumlee out there just running cardio. Uh, James Harden with 23, two boards, 10 assists. T Man with 17, two threes, seven for 10, one steal, one assist. Wow. T Man hoop, man. Role player actually playing out of his body, man. We see bums hit lucky shots all the time, like they uh say. Uh, Daniel Thies, you had 3 2 and 2 with a steal. Um, Westbrook with 16, 6 and 3 with two steals. Okay, Westbrook. Uh, 3 for 3 from the 3 is just abnormal, man. I've never seen Russ shoot 100% from 3. Um, Amir Coffey, you had 9 points. 3 for 3 from 3 as well. Two rebounds and a steal. Norman Powell, 8 for 14, 17 off the bench with five boards, two assists, and two blocks. Okay, Norman. And, uh, yeah, man, that's going to wrap this one up, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoy it. Let me check uh, the other channel, see if there's anything else for me to watch. Yeah, we do got a lot. Um, uh, all right, this one. Westbrook had his shoe pop off. Let me see. Bro, why don't you Westbrook. press him in this situation? When he's on the – bro, I'm – Nigga, I'm in his chest. You gotta press him, Vando. He's he he's he's fiddling with his shoe, bro. This dude thinks he's Mike Miller. I know y'all remember them heat days when, when Mike Miller like I would have pressed him, try to steal that, bro. Finally passes it. Now he's going shoeless. Press him. Shoeless he has no shoe on. Press him. Go ahead, Russ. Put of course, shoes. bro. Of course. <laughs> this dude grabbed the shoe. There it is. What does it say on it? I'm amazed at how easily shoes come off the feet of NBA players now. Well, but you know, they're, they're mid-top, low-top. So it's a lot easier for a shoe to slip off. They're softer. Mid-top, low-top. It now, it's easier to get off than yeah. on, apparently. That's, <laughs> I mean, didn't, didn't you used to get yelled about doing that when you were a kid? Um, yeah. Untie those shoes. they got to last you the whole semester. Nah, but he stepped back. But that's a shot. Even with his shoe off, Vanderbilt, you're going to give Rush. Wow, man. That is crazy. All right, man. Um... 
Let me see Shaq, what Shaq had to say. I did, uh, if y'all don't know, uh, they the Bucks fired uh, Adrian Griffin, and I seen on Twitter they were trying to get Doc Rivers. So, hey, that's going to be crazy. So, um, I think they did end up getting him. And I don't know if it's final, final yet, but let me hear what Shaq got to say. Shaq, there have been. Wait, what's this one? Right, we gonna, we gonna watch Milwaukee them Bucks have fired their head coach. Why are you standing like that? Griffin after going 30 and 13 to start the season. And I mean, I have seen a few comments saying that they should fire the head coach because we're not getting the most out of Giannis and Dame partnering. But I did not expect it to actually happen. And Doc Rivers is a serious candidate to replace Adrian Griffin as the head coach of the Bucks. Just let me know your thoughts in the comments. I know they were lacking on the defensive end, and maybe they weren't. As I said, getting the most out of the young. It's not even a coach's fault because of that. It's their depth. Partnering. They have on no one off. else but Dame, Giannis, Brooke, Middleton. And Malik Beasley is very inconsistent. And I know he shoots a high clip, but y'all going to. He's trashed me. Um, and then I guess Bobby Portis. Pat Fancy Connaughton, mid. Well. But now they've got to go out and find someone that can bring the most out of these two together but in other nba news terry rose yes, he was sir. actually traded to the miami heat for kyle lowry just a straight swap i'm pretty sure and the charlotte hornets are going to buy out kyle lowry and he'll hit the buyout market and i think that's because the hornets want to be able to take on massive contracts and also another bit of news tristan thompson was suspended 25 games for violating the drug rule wow who came up with the idea to drug test Tristan Thompson, like, how do you even find out that he's doing that? Maybe he has some crazy dunk or somewhere. They're like, nah, ain't no way he's doing that shit. All right, Shaq sounds off on the Bucks firing head coach uh, Adrian Griffin. Shaq, there have been other stories that have come out, like via the Athletic, where they said during the in-season tournament, Doc Rivers was actually brought in to be an advisor to Adrian Griffin. As you hear all this news, how do you process it? You know, we've we've all <clears throat> excuse me, we've all been around the business of basketball a long time. Something else is going on. Last time something like this happened, David Blatt, 30 and 11, Tylo took over and won the championship. Chris used the, the, the term, save the season. And when you say save the season, I would think that would be 11 and 37. Third best record in the league, second best record in the East. New players, new coaching staff. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, <clears throat> I've always been a firm believer that coach, okay, we as players got to do it. You know, we talk about defense and numbers. You have to want to play defense. And that's why sure. I always talked about timely stops. I'm not, I'm not a defense. I'm not want to play defense because I'm big. I'll get in yeah. foul trouble. But two minutes left, we got to get timely stops. And, you know, these, these guys are, are young and working together. But I think something else is going on. I don't want to speculate. I don't know what's going on. But, you know, you talk about a guy like Doc Rivers. Yes, he's an experienced coach, but he only has one championship. Uh, you know, you talk about Jeff Van Gundy, he has a lot of experience. But again, when it comes to the players, I don't care what schemes you have, you have to want to play defense. And Dame is not known as a defensive player. But again, that's why I always try to stick up for these guys and say, hey, if you can have timely stops, because they have enough talent to, you know, they got, they got major firepower offensively. But, you know, in these close games, if the last two minutes, you, you have to say, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm shutting this guy down. And until the players take onus and say that, it doesn't matter who they're going to bring in. They're still going to have these up and downs. But their ups and downs are really good ups and downs. Like, they're like second in the East. Like, I don't understand what the problem is. But I think being around this business for a long time, something else is going on. So we'll just stay tuned and you know, see what's going on. Something else is going on, man. Breaking news. You so great in clutch time. Feet. Okay. Are we ready for breaking news? Um... We have news in from CNN. They are reporting from CNN Sports. From CNN Sports yeah. that Doc Rivers has accepted the Milwaukee Bucks head coaching position. As you may remember earlier wow. today, Adrian Griffin relieved of duties. Uh, they were second or third best record in the NBA, and CNN Sports is now reporting that Doc Rivers He's will back. be the next coach of the Milwaukee Bucks. The Athletic had some reports earlier that during the in-season tournament, Doc Rivers was being used to give advice to Adrian Griffin to try and help out the first-year head coach, and now about a month later, Doc Rivers is the head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks. Shaq, you said earlier in pregame that there's something else going on here beyond how we got here. Your thoughts of Doc Rivers as the coach? Well, he does have championship experience. He does have experience with dealing with uh, large name 
individuals, superstars, Dame Lillard and Giannis. And he does uh, have experience with being a defensive-minded coach. But again, as a player, you have to want to play defense. You have to want to have timely stops. And again, when you're the one-two punch on the team, you rely on the coach, in my opinion, a little bit, not a lot. Like, you have to say, hey, this is what we need to do. Hey, you need to get in line, boom, boom, bam. But, uh, you know, a big name coach, I'm, I'm happy for Doc and he gets a chance to, you know, get another one. Because, you know, for so long, he's just been, you know, surviving off that one championship. So I would <laughs> like to see him get another one. I have heard a lot of comparisons today towards David Blatt. David Blatt in that 2016 season started off 30 and 11. He was let go. Teron Lou came in. They won the championship. But Lou was an assistant on that roster. Doc Rivers has not been on this coaching staff. But he was a consultant. Yeah, he was a consultant. So what does that mean well, as someone knows, who's never been in that locker room? He knows what's going on. If you're consulting a guy, helping him out, obviously the guy is, you know, saying, he helped him well, what should I do? Yeah. Mm. Oh, helped him out. Got it. <laughs> we don't know. Now, Joe, Pr uh, uh, so with, with Doc one. Rivers <laughs> trying to fix this defense, you guys were actually talking in the back about in the NBA right now, so many things are similar. Schemes. Is it easier in today's NBA to come in in the middle of the season like this? What kind of hurdles do you think Doc has ahead of him? Yeah, I think it's easier because everything looks the same. Uh, offensively, defensively, that's why when players get traded, it's almost plug and play. You don't have to like when we were coming up, it was like, OK, these are our, our top five plays. Give it an assistant coach so you can study these plays. It's different now. Now it's just plug and play, go side to side, get down here with a pick and roll. You got a good one, go to a great one. This three pointer, get up as many threes as possible. So mm. you can do that anywhere. It's no different than almost open gym in some ways. You can play with guys who know how to play. You can just plug and play. So for them, I think it'll be easier. And if Doc's been watching their team and consulting some way, shape or form, he watches the league anyway. I'm sure he'll fit right in. I think uh, also Jamal Crawford no ball offense, man he just I don't think it'll ever be their offense right. when you have Giannis on your Duh, team when you have Dame a, Lillard yeah, on your team it was their defense I mean that Milwaukee Bucks team is 22nd at one point defensively in the league and that just can't happen if you have aspirations to win a championship and so with that being said I don't think there's ever been a question about Doc and defense I think that there were questions of Doc offensively, yes. but not questions about Doc's defensive philosophy. And you're trying to cover up holes. Right. You just lost Drew Holiday, which is one of the best perimeter defenders in the league. Yeah, but if you're looking at these plays right here, these are effort plays. Like you don't have, like you got to get back. Like you just show. Four all right, man. Eight. I ain't gonna. I'm not watching all that. But yeah, y'all get the memo, man. Check their. Y'all get the memo. Y'all get the memo, man. That's gonna wrap this one up, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoy it. I don't know if y'all seen this, but I'm gonna I'm show y'all. Show y'all real quick. We all sitting on the bench and chilling, all of a sudden I'm crying. Why is it lagging? Oh, he talking about that clip of him crying. Yeah, I seen it on Twitter. Let me see what Chad about said. And this is the clip that D'Lo was talking about that went absolutely viral on social media. You could see he was emotional on the bench after he played in a really good game against, I think it was the Trailblazers, the last Lakers game. And that's when fans started to dive a little deeper into things because D'Lo was emotional, Rui looked sad, and they thought a massive trade was coming with those two being packaged somewhere for maybe DeJounte Murray or something like that. Because it's not very often where you see two players that look extremely sad where one's actually crying after they scored 35 plus points and they had a blowout win. So that's why fans thought it was really weird. D'Lo was not crying, man. But hey, man, that's going to wrap this one up, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoy. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. I'm out.